All right, so starting off on Battlefield, I mean, we, we heard the blips coming in, so Bodega Kakaro on Falco, set on, okay. Okay, is that something that you're, I'm gonna have to think about is like how Bodega Kakaro is gonna escape from the corner. The first one was just like fighting her way out with a dare. On the other hand, Set like likes to go to the platform. You saw that full hops to the platform and then fall afterwards. Yeah, goes to the platform again in the corner. Really likes it. Ooh, and an unfortunate SD right there, missing yeah. the ledge dash. Just a little sloppy, but, but that's pretty okay. pretty high percent. So it's not the largest loss yeah. in the world. Okay, not um, the hardest combo there. One shine, one bear. Yeah. Set it's, on the other hand is like tag chasing the boss match. That's sort of tough. Well, it feels like like Set is basically just getting stage positioning and really doing absolutely amazing things with them. Look yeah. at that there in the corner. I love that jump in. That I think the up tilt, even if it was facing the other uh -huh. way, wouldn't have hit. That was beautifully spaced. I think for Taylor Catgirl right now, the biggest issue is that like she's getting the shines, which is like one of the best openers you can ask for. But I'm not sure if she's like really converting off of it very well. Yeah, well, she's not getting edge guards too. Yeah. Oh no, that's that. And oh, on the other hand, look at that. Wow, that's this is tough. Yeah, this, this is, is tough. <laughs> Now, what adjustments do you think really needs to... Because uh, I'm already talking about Game 2 here, I'm gonna uh, be honest. I, I will also talk about Game 2. <laughs> I think the adjustments that needs to be made is you need a plan for what happens when you shine the opponent. Like, shining like the opponent is, like, you know, the best opening you can hope for. And, like, if you don't really know what you're doing off of your best opener, uh, Melee is going to be a hard game. Yeah, also getting out of the corner is going to be really important. I feel like putting yeah. a cackle and trying to go like high, like above the platforms that much. I like well, actually, there are no platforms here, so is this she better be confident about her ability to get out of the corner. Okay, we're window screen. Okay, how's the chain grab looking? That's two. Oh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. No, Ooh, not anymore. Okay. It's the ambiguous DI that always trips people up. I feel like the other thing about the Kakaro needs to think about a little bit more is, like, being a little bit less aggressive in the corner. Because I feel like yeah. she always fights. Like, she took pick F up tilt there. Dare from ledge and like dare out of the corner. Yeah, and we've already seen this immaculate. The way, he, well, keep in mind, like Set is baiting her into it. He'll like run at her and then at the last second fade back, just briefly right. spacing. So it's <laughs> you just have to be in, and it's so hard, uh, especially when you're ooh, being chased down to have the wherewithal to not just hit a button. But. Yeah, sort of a drop combo from uh, Bodega Kakaro there. It's like once again, like the ledge hop there. It's like it's super aggressive, and it can go wrong for sure. These up tilts are just being outspaced. Yeah. The thing is, like, the thing is, Set's not going all the way in. Like, if Set's actually running you down, then you do that up tilt. If not, then you should like just try to like stay a little bit less committal. Yeah, I mean, more lasers maybe? Yeah. Because if uh, if Set's not going in all the way, then like lasers will at the very yes. least oh, exactly. force them. Nice low recovery from uh, Set. I like that a lot. Oh, oh whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, that hold looked, up. That looked like an SD to me. <laughs> that was so odd. I don't know. That was goofy. Yeah. Goofy's a good word. Okay, we are starting to see a little more lasers. You know, one of the things about FD is it is larger, maybe a little yeah. bit more room to just fade back, run away, but... Oh, wow, what a raw grab. That's crazy. Okay, this got to be big. But once again, not converting off the time. Oh, and got the laser reset, but the down air doesn't actually land. That's such a pivotal drop. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So that's pretty good at deck racing, I would say. Also, good, like the up smash right there, with good DI, uh, she could have survived that, right? So it was like the DI mix-up. Yeah. Once again, the, de the up to the game, I was every time. Okay, once again, the um, the shine happened, but like, you know, it's not the biggest punch. You just, I think if Dodega Kakaro wants to like improve one thing after this match, it's literally just like figure out what to do after shine. Like I don't play Fox, I mean Falco, so like, I'm not oh. really sure, but <laughs> I've seen Falcos take one shine and like, Take it to the bank. Okay, that's good. That's good. What's stuck in the uh, second one? Yeah, I it's think it's the same thing over and over again. I, I think that one was a technical flaw. It is like a lot of them. Are, the, yeah, well.